What's up, my friend? Welcome to Friday, October 8th, 2021. The most amazing day you'll ever see. But it's missing something. The day would be perfect if it had just this one thing. You. The day is missing you, my friend. Your contribution, your energy, your intellect, your service is missing you. So I'm trusting that you're going to go out here and make it happen, my friend. Right? I got a great message for you today. I'm so excited. Right? But first, I just got to tell you something that I was thinking, right? See, my heart goes out to the people, to the underdogs out here in the world, right? To the people that feel like they're getting cheated out of their blessings, right? They look around and see everybody else coming up, getting blessed. And it's like, what about me? Right? My heart goes out to you. This video, in fact, this message is for you today, right? But what if I told you, my friend, all of you that feel cheated in your blessings, what if I told you that it's something that you're not doing? What if I told you that the reason you feel cheated out of blessings is because of you? What if I told you, my friend, that you gotta stop forfeiting your blessings. See, it's all on you, my friend, because here's the hard truth, right? Whatever in this world that you want, it also wants you. It really does. You just gotta endure the process long enough to get it, right? Let me explain. See, all adversity comes with an equal if not greater blessing. Now we all know none of us are extinct to adversity. The adversity comes free and easy, but in order to get the blessing, you gotta fight and be patient for long enough to secure the blessing, my friend. Yup, that's how that works. And here's three strategies that can help you, right? Number one, what if I told you, my friend, that adversity is really your friend? But I know it doesn't feel like it is. It's, it's painful, it's abrupt, it makes you pivot and get uncomfortable. What if I told you it's your friend but it don't seem like it? Cause you gotta first get to know it. You gotta get to know it, my friend, right? And number two, see here's the thing. We all experience adversity but we all don't do the right thing with that adversity. This is what you gotta understand. That adversity doesn't come into your life for you to simply survive it and say, look at what I've overcome, look what I survived. No, that adversity comes into your life, my friend, so that you can use it to thrive. That's why adversity comes our way, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe, right? That we all must first get uncomfortable in order to get comfortable, my friend. That's the process for each and every one of us. So if you're afraid of the, of, the, of the hurt, of the challenge, of the pain, you'll never get what you desire to have in life, right? So when you get that challenge, when that adversity comes your way, don't get angry, don't resist it, embrace it. And here's why. Because the adversity only feels wrong and bad in the beginning. But once you face it head on, and you start going through the process of resolving that adversity, that's when you see that it's your friend. Because guess what it leaves you with? It leaves you with clarity. It allows you to make sense of why the adversity had to come. And it leaves you with power, my friend. But you first got to get to know it. Never forget, my friend. You're born to be great.